guys and welcome to today's video. Today I am sharing with you a bit of a haul. It is clothes, makeup, um, a few swimwear bits, um, just a bit of a collective haul for my holiday. I actually, the makeup bits aren't actually necessarily for my holiday, they're just a few bits I bought recently. I think this video is going up Sunday and if today is Sunday then I am on my way to Portugal for my holiday. Join me on Snapchat, my Snapchat is a little obsessed if you're interested in kind of what I get up to. I'm just going to quickly point out that some bits I bought myself, some bits were sent to me by brands but I picked them and other bits I bought with vouchers as well but I picked everything and I'm super excited about everything too. So starting with makeup, um, bought two new foundations which is quite a lot for me I think however Foundation is probably the one thing that I do buy quite a lot of because um, I don't I do get scent foundations but they don't always get the shade right so it's a bit tricky. First one I'll talk about is Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. I love Charlotte Tilbury as a brand but the most recent thing I tried other than this foundation was the mascara which I found to be quite average. It smudged a little bit. This foundation though I have been really really liking. I got number five medium. It's medium to full coverage I would say. I think it is quite matte um, but still I quite like it. I don't think it's too cakey or anything like that so so far I have been quite enjoying this. The other foundation I'm almost a bit embarrassed. I had I had vouchers to spend and I didn't really know what I wanted to buy so I kind of feel like I bought this for the sake of buying it um, and I forgot that I would bought it. I know it's not a cheap foundation so I do feel like really bad about doing that. Um, but I did pick up the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk 3.5 which I actually just looked at the old colour I had and I used to have 5.5 which I think is a lot darker than the 3.5 let me have a quick look yeah it is loads darker but actually 3.5 has a really nice tone to it um, much nicer than 5.5 um, but I like this foundation a lot of people compare it to L'Oreal True Match I prefer L'Oreal True Match to this and considering this is so expensive, I kind of feel like, don't get it, but it's nice. If you really want a high-end foundation, this is nice. I, it's not bad at all, um, but I just prefer L'Oreal True Match, which I know is really controversial because it's so much cheaper, but that's my thoughts. Concealer, I picked up the Naked Skin Concealer. Lily Pebbles rose about this concealer all the time, and I really value Lily Pebbles' opinion. I think you find YouTubers that you really connect with, and Lily's probably one of those for me. I picked up Lily, I picked up Light Warm, not Lily, um, really like this concealer, it's quite illuminating under the eyes which I love, it's much less cakey than NARS Creamy Concealer, NARS Creamy Concealer is still probably up there joint with this, um, but this is a little bit like more brightening and hydrating and, well not hydrating, just less cakey. Um, and I use this sometimes over the NARS one. I went into MAC to back to MAC and then I had something to exchange. I picked up a patisserie lipstick as my back to MAC. This used to be my absolutely favourite lipstick. So I've obviously had this before. They don't stock this one at Duty Free and I never got around to picking it up. I feel like I don't love it as much as I used to but it is a really beautiful everyday shade if you are looking for one. It's still probably one of my favourites from MAC. And then I also picked up one of their Mineralized Rich Pure Pout lipsticks. No, I think Pure Pout is the colour. Um, these are like so, I don't know, they look like so creamy. They look really creamy on the lips and I love that. Might actually apply this one. I probably wouldn't go for this range in one of the bold shades, but I think this nude is beautiful. And then also whilst picking up the concealer, I picked up a Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. I had some money to spend in Urban Decay, so... Um, I thought this was a nice, I thought this was a nice little product to have. I'm actually not taking this on holiday because I've got a mini Too Faced, which I'm taking instead. But I d I'm not really picky about primers. I like this one, the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and the NARS Eyeshadow Primer, I'm not sure what it's called. They're, all three of those are incredible and I will use either of those. So on to clothes and I'm going to start by saying that I've basically had like a nightmare with sizes recently. I feel like I'm literally every size possible going. Literally from like a size 8 to a size 16? Maybe not 16. From like a size 8 to a size 14. I have bought things from those sizes over the last couple of months which is crazy. I'm going to start with something that doesn't have a size. I love sunglasses but um, I had those Lamoda ones everyone loves, but I scratched a pair 
bent a pair and there and then I lost a pair of key ones which I'm so sad about so I bought another pair of key ones key sunglasses are like very reasonable but once you've bought loads of them they can get expensive um, I would definitely recommend them though I love them so much although I'm a little bit bored by of the styles at the moment I feel like I've got all the ones that I would like but I spotted these in the sale and they look like this on um, they're cut-eyed and reflective and I think they're quite fun for the summer. I actually have an, a few more key ones that I haven't lost. Maybe like four other key ones. I used to have five but I lost pairs. So this is like my fifth pair that I have now. These were £14 off ASOS. I will link these below if they're still in stock. Hopefully still on sale but um, would definitely recommend picking these up. Let me know if you think they suit me. I'm like not 100% sure. I think the nose part is a tiny bit dark. But I do like them. Now there's going to be no cutaways in this video because I'm hoping to do lots of lookbooks and video, like outfit videos whilst away. So I don't want to like double up on that. So going on to bikinis, um, I picked up a pair, like a black top and black bottoms. The black bottoms are from Evil Twin on ASOS but I seem to have misplaced them. I'm kind of like mid-packing so everything in my house is a little bit crazy. And then I picked up this top from Murum, okay I'm not sure how to pronounce this brand, I'm just going to link it down below. It's a little like bandeau top, I actually don't think these suit me that much. This is a size large, I think I had 12 in this initially, tried it on, my boobs didn't fit in it so I got the 14. Something I'm going to recommend doing, and I know it's expensive, but if you have issues finding bikinis, um, especially those ones that have a clip on the back, um, I'm a 32 back, I'm an F cup, so it can be quite tricky. Sometimes I just buy the bikini and get either someone to tailor it or just ask like, my mum to make the back a little bit shorter. It is a pain, but it works really well. And it's just a little black one with a gold detailing in the middle, and I... This one's actually not my favourite. One I love, but I don't think fits that well, is this one from Primark. I picked this one up most recently. Um, this is actually a 12 top and 12 bottom. Um, but I find that this part here doesn't really sit that well. Top and bottom for this set was £10. The bottoms look like this. I was a little bit nervous that my like fat would peek out the sides. Um, and obviously, like they... There's some fat there, but it's not too bad. Just size up if that happens. Um, I did try on the 14, but I felt like the 14 was a bit too big and they would possibly fall slash don't really fit my bum. That wasn't a good look. My favourite bikini, however, is from Swimwear365. And I did not think I was going to like this anywhere near as much as I do. Bottoms are 14. Tops is a 14. But they're tie-up ones, so it's perfect. And the bottoms tie up too, so you can make them a bit smaller if you need to. Um, they're this green colour, and they're from a brand called Buffalo, which I think is a really unflattering name for a swimwear brand, but hey-ho. The quality of this is just beautiful. I think because of that, it just looks really nice on. Um, it just fits really well, in my opinion. It's very flattering. I think the colour suits my skin tone, and it's probably my favourite one this year. Only one new pair of shoes to show you and this is them, they're a little suede pair and these are from Forth and Reckless um, it's kind of hard to show you but again I will be doing an outfit in these but your foot goes in there so there's a cross across your foot and then this part laces up. Love these they look super comfortable, I'm hoping they're going to be super comfortable. It's raining today otherwise I'd wear them to like ensure that they're super comfy but I think they will be they're quite like soft um Heel's not too high, it's quite chunky, and I think this colour will look incredible with a tan as well. And they're really reasonable at like £30. In the H&M sale, not overly like crazy about this top, but I just thought it was quite, it was okay. Um, it's just like this, almost like a black peacock feather, um, which I picked up in H&M at £7, size 10. I don't know if it's a bit mumsy, but I think tucked into a pair of jean shorts like in the evening on holiday it will look really nice which is why I got it and then when I come back I think it will look nice in autumn and winter as well a dress that I'm going to be honest with you I thought I was going to love and I just think is okay is this ASOS dress it's a size 10 I probably should have got a size 8 but it's too late now um, 
it's beautiful like the quality of it is amazing but it's almost too good so there's a lot of fabric and it's quite well lined so I think that if you put a well even if you don't put a belt in it or if you do put a belt there's just a lot of fabric in this area and um, I kind of feel like it makes me look not very small basically it makes me look quite big um, but the colours are beautiful and it's just such a nice quality dress that I'm not going to be sending it back. I, I'm still going to enjoy wearing it, I'm just going to belt it and just kind of hope for the best. I think it'll look quite nice with a pair of heels, like dressed up, um, and that kind of adds height so you look a little bit slimmer, hopefully. Picked up quite a few little Primark bits but um, only like little camis and stuff like that, nothing too exciting and they're in the pile to pack so I'm sorry, we're going to save that for an outfit video but one thing I did pick up and I wanted to show you was this little denim skirt um, I had seen someone wear a denim skirt with like actually a top like this and I just thought she looked really cool so I had to like copy her basically um, I love the look of like little vests with denim shorts but like how many times can you wear denim shorts it gets a little bit boring so I thought a skirt was a nice alternative but pretty much the same look possibly could have done with a smaller size than this skirt I'm just gonna have to belt it but I've got a really small waist but really big thighs so I don't know if my thighs would have fit in a smaller size, I'm not sure. Also this is like a rolled hem and I would have quite have liked just like the frayed hem. I might try and unroll it and see if that looks okay but I think it might just come up. But really like the wash of this skirt, it feels quite like good quality. It was £10 and this is Primark as well. Talking about denim shorts, I placed my first ever Depop order for these shorts here. These are the Topshop Rosa shorts. I had these last year from Topshop in a size 14. Because um, they start really small, but I think they get really big. And my 14 ones are enormous on me at the moment. Um, I'm typically a size, probably now about a 10 in jeans. But last year I was probably about a 12. But in shorts, I always feel like I need to go up a size because my thighs are quite big. And I don't want the leg of the shorts to dig into my thighs. Whereas if it's jeans, like they just squish in and that's cool. But it doesn't work like that with shorts. So I picked up these size 12 Rosa ones off Depop because they no longer do them. They were like £15 and I think originally they were like 30 So good price. They look quite good. They're not as quite as nice as mine because I think my hem is a little bit nicer. And where mine are worn, I think they're, they, they just look quite like soft and lived in and I like that. But these will kind of end up like that soon enough, I think. These are just a really great um, pair. Um, I don't really like the ripped part, just because I feel that they look extra casual when they're more ripped. Um, but fit-wise, they're quite good. I'm looking forward to them becoming a little bit more lived in. Finally, I've got a baptism next month in Portugal. And I needed a dress, and I was kind of leaving it a bit late. Um, but I just didn't find anything I, I liked. I really wanted a white dress. I just didn't find anything nice. I wanted it to be lace as well. Was tempted by a self-portrait dress, but they are expensive, and I just didn't know if it was worth the money. And then I spotted this dress on ASOS, but getting hold of the right size was virtually impossible. I initially ordered an eight, knowing that I probably wouldn't fit into it, but I ordered it anyway. Um, I tried, like I totally didn't fit into it. But then I saw a 10 come into stock. I believe this is a 10, don't wanna lie to you guys. It is a 10. Um, and this fits perfectly on me. I love it. Actually, I probably don't love it quite as much as I thought I would. It's a little bit more grey than I thought, but I think it's a really pretty dress. It was reasonably priced, like 60 pounds, maybe like 50 pounds, um, and like a really nice length, and just perfect for what I want it for as well. My mum said it was great. I feel like with clothes, I need my mum's approval. Like she tells me if it, if it like suits me or not, and she said that this is a good one. So I am looking forward to wearing this next month. But again, join me on Snapchat and Instagram, and, I, and I'm sure you'll see what this looks like on. But that's the end of my haul. I'm not sure if it was a long one or a short one, but I still hope you enjoyed it. A little bit of fashion, a little bit of beauty, a few different stores as well. Um, so like this video if you enjoyed it, and I shall see you all very soon. Bye!